So determined, the court is compelled to further conclude that the state has met its burden to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Sergeant Schwamm and defendant were the initial ingressors in the encounter with Cameron Lamb on December 3, 2019, and had a duty to retreat from the encounter under the circumstances. The court is further compelled to find beyond a reasonable doubt that when defendant shot and killed Cameron Lamb, number one, defendant was not acting in lawful self-defense. Number two, defendant was not acting in lawful defense of Sergeant Schwamm. And three, it being conceded that defendant and Sergeant Schwamm were not effecting an arrest of Cameron Lamb or preventing his escape after an arrest, that defendant did not lawfully utilize deadly force as a law enforcement officer under Missouri use of force laws applicable to such officers. The court further finds from the admissible evidence beyond a reasonable doubt that when defendant followed Sergeant Schwamm into the backyard of 4154 College and engaged Cameron Lamb, ultimately shooting and killing him, he did so without considering or being aware of the substantial and unjustifiable risks associated with his conduct, including, but not limited to, the fact that Sergeant Schwamm and he were unlawfully on the property, that they were both escalating a situation that previously had de-escalated, and that their actions created or exacerbated the risk that what ultimately occurred would. The court concludes that this conduct was a gross deviation from the standard of care that a reasonable person would exercise in the situation and constituted criminal negligence, as that phrase is designed, defined rather, under Missouri law. Accordingly, as to count one, in which defendant is charged with the Class C felony of involuntary manslaughter in the first degree, the court finds the defendant guilty of the lesser included offense of involuntary manslaughter in the second degree, a Class E felony. As to count two, the unclassified felony of armed criminal action, the court finds the defendant guilty. A date for sentencing will be determined after further consultation with counsel. The court will order the preparation of a sentencing assessment report. If the defendant chooses to file a motion for new trial, his deadline for doing so is extended 10 days. I will order the defendant remain free on bond pending sentencing. That will be the court's order. Counsel will withdraw their exhibits. Good luck, everybody.